G'day punters, welcome to a mailbag exclusive. I'm joined by New Zealand trainer, Emma Brown. Welcome, Emma. Hey, how's it going? We're going super. We've got some exciting news to announce. Um, obviously everybody that's watching this will know that you train the colt horse and the people's horse, Elephant, who's uh, pressing for an all-star mile uh, position, a slot in the race uh, coming up in March. and. Mailbag is pleased to announce that uh, we've partnered up with you guys and we're going to get right behind you and the horse and, uh, and give it a good push to get Elephant into the race. And uh, we're really excited to, uh, to get on board with you and, uh, and hope that we can have a really big impact on getting this horse in there. We're pretty excited and, and I'm sure you guys are really keen to get the horse over there here and into the race. Yeah, no, we're really excited about it and great to work with you guys and the mailbag and those sort of things. Um, yeah, we're really looking forward to hopefully getting in the all-star mile and looking forward to the celebrations afterwards with you guys. <laughs> well, I'm glad you mentioned the celebrations after because uh, we've actually got a, a live event uh, planned for all-star mile day. So obviously the mailbag and, and the mailbag subscribers, we can't all squeeze into Flemington in the, uh, in the owner's box with you, but um, we'll be holding an event uh, with all with details to follow, obviously, but we'll be holding a live event in the Melbourne CBD and, uh, and, and, Part of our agreement, I suppose, is when you guys win the race, you have to bring the trophy and we get to drink out of the cup, which is um, which is very important part of it, I suppose, <laughs> for us anyway. So no pressure. <laughs> no, um, <particularly. laughs> uh, no pressure at all on you, to, but just make sure you get the job done, can you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no worries. <laughs> uh, so let's talk, uh, let's talk a little bit about the horse. Obviously, he had a – I suppose it's fair to say that he uh, developed a bit of a cult following. He was – relatively lightly raced horse before he came over to Australia last preparation. And, um, you know, obviously he mixed it with some very good horses, um, you know, with a pretty inexperienced horse. And obviously, you know, he, he won a benchmark race at Caulfield before progressing second in a group two, winning the group three um, at Sandown. And then um, what was he just behind? I'm Thunderstruck in the group one, a few lengths off there, and then running third in the Crystal Mile at group two. So, um, he certainly, he certainly had his fair crack at, at some good races while he's over here last prep. Um, I suppose the big question is, um, you know, he's coming back and he's now a five-year-old. How is he and where's he at? And what can you tell us about him and, and his program as we head towards the All-Star Mile? Yeah, yeah, honestly, it was a, it was an unreal spring. We took a punt and we brought over a horse that was pretty inexperienced. And, um, yeah, he stood up really well. It, he probably learned a lot about racing um, last prep. He'd never been probably pushed for that many starts in a row. And um, mentally now, he's a lot better horse because of it. And, um, you know, he, he's really improved. He's stronger this time. He's he's more rounded racehorse because of it. And I think having the break over here, he put on a heap of weight. And yeah, we're just really, really looking forward to having him back there and kicking off probably at Flemington. So, um, what? So obviously we've got a few weeks until the until the race. Um, what are we? March the nineteenth, I think it is, isn't it? Um, does he does he go straight into that race, or does have you got a have you got a kick off race planned for him at this stage? Or is there any is there anything locked in? I haven't seen anything on any other media platforms that sort of suggest what his program is. Have you got a scoop for us and? Um, for the viewers, we might be able to lock in a, a bit of an early price somewhere in a futures bet or something. Have you got something locked in for the horse? Yeah, actually, you do have the scoop on this. Um, yeah, first off, off the rank, you are knowing about this. We locked it in today. Uh, he flies out of here on the 15th of February and will run at Flemington on the Saturday. It's a um, handicap race, so he'll be carrying 60 kilos, which is pretty tough first up. Um, it's the Elms, but we've locked in Damien Lane to ride him. Um, yeah, carrying the weight's not ideal, but we really want him to have a good look at Flemington before we hopefully get in the final 10 and we're in for the All-Star Mile. But yeah, I think it's, it's a good race for him to kick off on. We were going to race here, but there's a few variables that didn't really work for us here. And I just, I really can't wait to get him back in Melbourne. 
Yeah, it's exciting for us as well to be to play a small part. I suppose if we get our if we do our job and, and help get him into the race, you'll have to do yours and get him to win. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> um, <Come on. laughs> now we we were talking before we started recording. We we're talking about um, I was whinging to you because I'm moving house and carrying on, and you said, "Oh, you think you've got it bad? You're moving country. Um, you've started packing, and and you're on your way to, to relocate to Cranbourne in Victoria." Yeah, it's, it's probably been a little bit more of a mission than I thought. I seem to have accumulated far more stuff than I thought I even had. Uh, but yeah, we're um, all set to make the move. David comes over in February, uh, obviously with Elephant. He's also bringing over Rhinoceros and just a couple of others from our stable. And then we take over a new barn on the 1st of March in Cranbourne, which we're really excited about. Uh, but yeah, we have three daughters. Uh, the oldest one's going to come straight over because she's um, in her final years at high school. So she needs to get, you know, all the exams and all the, that sort of stuff. So she's going to go with David uh, and I'm going to stay with the other two and just sort of tidy up the loose ends at this, this end uh, and get the last of our horses ready to come over. Yep, and um, you, you, the setup at Cranbourne, um, how many boxes do you have? And I suppose that it'd be, it'd be silly if I didn't ask, how many are you looking for horses still when you relocate to, to Cranbourne or will you be bringing all, a full contingent with you? Uh, we're, we're bringing quite a few with us. Um, we've got a 40 horse barn in Cranbourne, but yeah, no, we're definitely looking for more to fill the spots. Um, yeah, we, we've had great support from home. Uh, most of our owners are really keen to bring the horses over and yeah, have a taste of Australian racing and things like that. Uh, because at all all levels, you guys are probably streets ahead of New Zealand racing. So everyone's pretty excited about that. Uh, but yeah, there's still a few boxes to fill. So yeah, always room. <laughs> Excellent. Well, um, look, I really appreciate taking time out of, you know, uh, training and today you said you were looking at some yearlings and, and trying to pack everything up to move to Australia so I really appreciate taking time out uh, to join us today and uh, really excited that you guys uh, were keen to partner and you know partner together to give a good push to get this horse into the all-star mile and uh, look forward to seeing you when you get here, out here and particularly looking forward to, to celebrating with you and the owners um, after he wins the all-star mile in March. Yeah, no, we really appreciate the support and hopefully we're all there celebrating. Loved it. Excellent. Thanks very much.